Good morning, my children, and welcome to your English class, the class of the teacher Jacob. Today, my children, we're going to continue with a new topic and a new exercise. Today, we're going to talk about there is and there are. Now, these two words in Spanish, they mean there is, I, and there are, I. But what is the difference? There is, is for singular objects, there are for plural objects. Remember, singular objects is only one, plural, plural objects two, three, four, or more, even to 100, okay? So, the activity for today is we have five sentences. Now, these sentences, I am going to read them, and next to the sentences, we have to draw what indicates us, lo que nos indican las oraciones, we have to draw it, okay? For this, once again, if you want to work along with the teacher, I am going to count to five, so you have time to grab your pencil case and grab your book. One, two, three, four, five, very good. Now, once you have your book, you are going to open it and you are going to be at this page. This is the page of today. Once again, it says exercise and under we have five sentences. Now, for this, it's very important that you have your pencil at hand so we can commence. Now, the first sentence of the exercise, it says, there are three squares on the table. Once again, there are three squares on, remember the prepositions of place, on, arriba, on the table. That means that we have to draw, vamos a dibujar, first the ball, three squares. Now remember the squares are part of the geometric shapes. One, two, three. We have three squares. Now, these squares are on, arriba, on the table. Arriba de que? Exactly. Remember, table in Spanish means mesa. On the table. Here is our little table and the legs. You see? There are three squares on the table. That's the first sentence. Let's continue with number two. For the second sentence, it says, there are, once again, there is and there are means I. There are two blocks under the desk. Now remember, the blocks are the toys, like, like the Lego toys that we use to construct uh, objects. So, there are two blocks Remember that the blocks, the Lego blocks, have the shape and form of a rectangle. One, two blocks under the desk. Now, once again, prepositions of place. On, under the desk. Now, desk in Spanish means escritorio. And remember, a desk is like a table. So these two blocks are under the desk, okay? The desk is like a table, similar to a table. Let's continue with the third sentence. It says, there are five triangles on the desk. So once again, using geometric shapes, five triangles. One, two, three, four, five. Now, these triangles are on, remember, on, arriba, on the desk. Once again, desk is like a table. In Spanish, escritor. Five triangles on the table. Very good. Let's continue with the number four. The number four, it says, there is a circle next to the whiteboard. 
So the first object is a circle. There is a circle next to, do you remember the preposition next to? Remember on, under, next to. So there is a circle next to the whiteboard. Now do you remember what is a whiteboard? It's an important object that we use here in the classroom. This object right here is a whiteboard. In Spanish, pizarro. So, there is a circle next to the whiteboard. And the whiteboard looks and is similar to a rectangle. Okay? And finally, number five, it says, there is an apple on the desk. Now remember, apple, it's a fruit color red, and it looks like a circle. An apple, there is an apple. Don't, think, don't forget to draw the leaf of the flower so we can recognize it's an apple. There is an apple on the desk. Arriba del escritorio. Okay? Very good. So, for this exercise, we saw and uh, we had a review of geometric shapes and prepositions of place. Now remember, even though, aunque, even though we already saw these topics, ya habíamos visto estos temas y ya no los estemos viendo con mucha frecuencia, it doesn't mean, no quiere decir que ya no los vamos a ver. So it's very important that you remember them, you practice them constantly, because maybe in the future we are going to continue to make this type of exercises. So it's very important that you never forget them. So that's it for today, my children. I hope that you have an excellent day. As always, take care. Don't forget to do the activities, and if you want, you can paint them with your favorite colors. Take care, goodbye.